Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Makakadash. Kal Halal Yom Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Makakadash. I'm going to title this video From the River of Egypt unto the Great River, the River Euphrates. This is from Genesis 15, verse 18. In the day, in, in the same day, Yahweh made a covenant, an agreement with Abraham, saying, Unto thy seed, not talking about uh, Ishmael, it's not talking about the six sons of Keturah, it's talking about. Isaac, Isaac seed, Isaac, and from Isaac, uh, Jacob, not Esau, and from Jacob, ja from Jacob's loins was the twelve, the, the Israelites, the twelve tribes. At one point, it was thirteen tribes. It's twelve tribes now. The Israelites, Judah, one of the sons of Jacob, Benjamin, one of the sons of Jacob. Joseph, one of the sons of Jacob, that had two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh. Anytime you read about Joseph in uh, Revelation, Ezekiel 37, just to name a few, uh, even numbers. Anytime you come across the word Joseph, <clears throat> let's let's deal with uh, Revelation, the seventh chapter, the tribe of Joseph. There's no, there's really no such thing as a tribe of Joseph. The tribe, tribe of Joseph. If you understand the scriptures. You know, it's talking about the tribe of Ephraim, which was the youngest son of the two boys. Manasseh was the older, the older boy, but Ephraim got the blessing over his older brother, Manasseh. In the same day, Yahweh made a covenant with Abram, which means uh, Abba, Abba Ram which means uh, exalted father. That's where you get the word ram, the animal called a ram, because ram means exalted. They're up on the mountains. Ram is a, is a Hebrew word. It means exalted. His name was later changed to Abraham, which means father of many or father of a multitude. Because he had the issue, he gave his, his first son, was Ishmael. The second son was Isaac, where the blessing uh, came through. Isaac, and from Isaac to Jacob. And then he had six more sons from Keturah, like I said a little while ago. A few minutes ago. It says, unto thy seed, unto thy seed, who's thy seed? Isaac. And who's Isaac's seed? Where the promise or the covenant went went to Isaac's seed is Jacob not Esau it tells you that Paul explains that for you Christians out there Paul explains that and out of the the sons that came out of out of uh, Jacob it stopped right there if they had sons with any any woman any nation th that seed is uh the seed of Israel. I don't care if it, it looks like the Edomite, he looks like an Edomite, a Moabite, whatever. This is unto thy seed, the seed is Isaac, which goes to Jacob, which goes to Israel. Have I given this land? Now, wouldn't the Apostle Paul explain that and say, well, now it's open to everybody? The Apostle Paul never said that. When you read Revelate, um, Romans in ninth chapter, the apostle Paul is talking about how the Most High blessed the Israelites. From, it says, made a covenant with Abram, saying, unto thy seed, the second seed, have I given this land, singular. How vast is that land? From the river of Egypt, Unto the great river, the river Euphrates, because 
I was wa just watching the video that uh, Possible Rambaugh put up. It was, it was Lamb back and also the video that I did uh, last night. Um, Deuteronomy 2836, what does it mean? Uh, Israelites must be on the same page. And this, the fact that I put the video together was based upon the back and forth with a Paul Kersey, which is a uh, deacon um, uh, I fund of the IUIC, the tallest man in, in um, at least in New York area, but he's up there, he's tall. You know, he's 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 got he gotta be six 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 or more. Six five, six six. But um that's the the the, the um the uh handle that he goes by. Paul Kurt, that's one of the handles that he goes by. So we had this, you know, back and forth as we normally do. So now he said, if I go to the video, he said that, as a matter of fact, let me go to it. Yeah, he's put at 33, 33, 30, 33 minutes, 30 seconds in, I laughed my ass off. And when you click on that, I pretty much said, I guess that wasn't in the preset packet, you know, yeah, joking around. So anyway, he says, so what is their argument, Apostle? Are they saying we already went into captivity and that the fact we are in America is not a fulfillment of Deuteronomy 2868 because Deuteronomy 28, I mean, uh, because Deuteronomy 2836 seemed to be talking about us being carried into Babylon with, yeah, we were carried into Babylon, the, 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 the daughter of Babylon with our king. Are they saying we already went through the captivity while in Babylon? That's what they're saying. So you know that this is America, which is also known as spiritually Babylon. So that's his response, you know. The fulfillment of Deuteronomy 28, verse 36 is definitely referring to America. That goes with uh, Isaiah, what is it? Isaiah 22, verse 18. I shall, uh, how does it go? Matter of fact, let me get it. And I went through it. I got to go through it again. Oh, this is America right here. Amos 7, verse 17. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be in the, holly, in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fell by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted and land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. Far, far part of the world is the Americas, North, Central, and South America, including Canada. I did a couple of videos on that. It's a polluted land, right? Polluted land. Our bread shall be defiled among the Gentiles. It shall die in a polluted land. Uh, Tama, <clears throat> unclean, impure, ethically and religiously, ritually of places, unclean. This is an unclean land, impure. This is an imp impure land. Defiled, our, our bread should be defiled among the Gentiles. Infamous. That's why the uh, EU nations and the NATO nations are going to ultimately shoot missiles on this place. This, this is the bad guy. Polluted pollution.
going into the root to be unclean, become unclean. Be, uh, they, they let women, look, you got women that drive buses, that cook food, and they're on the period. You got women that you deal with every day in the work, in the work market, workplace, and they 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 coming in with 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 with, their, with periods, man. The way the system should be set up, if a woman is working in the system, you have to on the application you have to say when you get your period, period you got to let us know, and then we're gonna get we're gonna give you a week off. They don't do this, so anywhere you go is anywhere you go in this god forsaken place, <laughs> is polluted. Everything you touch is polluted. Everything you do, everything you eat is defiled. This is that. It ain't talking about ancient Babylon, man. Ancient Babylon wasn't defiled like America's defiled. You, they don't honor it. They, and these fucking devils. And then Vocab Malone doesn't go to, the, go to Washington, D.C. He doesn't go before the government because he doesn't give a shit. Because he's set up. There's, there's no, how can this be a God-fearing land? Where are the Bible Belt people, the Edomites? Some of them are Jake. Why ain't they protesting against this whole system? What, but I remember when there was blue laws, man. That was on a Sunday. That was their so-called Sabbath. Sunday is not the Sabbath and Saturday is not the Sabbath. The Sabbath is based upon the new moon. You have blue laws as a child. Everything was closed. Everything, everything. That, but that was I remember when I was a kid. There was no such thing as supermarkets. There were like little markets: the butcher shop, the baker, the milkman deliver you the milk. And then you had like the A and P, uh, A and P Atlantic and Pacific, Pathmark. Those were the like major supermarkets. And then they became they became. Uh, mega supermarkets. Now you got the BJ's and, and so forth. But none of those places are closed on a Sunday, which is their Sabbath. So let's let's go with the fact that uh, Sunday is a Sabbath. Everything's open. This this is this is the this is the land of the ungodly. These are the ungodly that what that prosper that prosper in the world. But these Christians don't, as American, and now nah, America's not in the Bible. Like I said uh, previously in the video that I did, America, the history of America goes back to what? 1492, up until now, to, uh, 2022. Yeah, yeah, how about Shem, how was Shai turning up? So we're talking about over 500 years. 1492. 1592, 1692, 1792, 1892, 1892. We're talking over 500 years. We're talking about five, about 500, about uh, 520 years, about two, 520 20 years, to be exact. 1492, 1592, 1692, 1692, 1892. That's 500 years, 92, uh, 92, 202, uh, 212, actually 30 years, 530 years. But all the stuff that America did, the wars that was involved in, the, the, the 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 um the, the great space space race the inventions you know flight the 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 Wright brothers at, at Kitty Hawk in America but but America's not in the, no America's not in the Bible no man America's not in the Bible they don't know that's why you IUIC people you had no business going to them churches because they're 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 like I said in the previous video is they're seared with a hot iron. You can't change them. They're under a spell. The only way you're going to wake up to this if the, if the Most High taps, taps your spirit 
and wakes you up. This is the only reason why I'm woken up because the most I tapped into my spirit. It says, you're going to tell me this is a righteous land? You have men that pose as women. You have men that lay with men and they, the laws protect them. What is that? Give me a second. So I read this. From the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates, right? I believe that's Habakkuk. Let's see if I'm correct. Let's see if I'm correct. Habakkuk 1 verse 4. Therefore the law is slacked. That applies to this man now. When you read the scriptures, when we read certain scriptures, like for example, Amos 9, um, I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. You, you know what I'm talking about, Amos 9. As a matter of fact, I have to go to it. Let me just open up another tab right quick. Bear me for a minute. Amos 9. I want to read it so I don't botch it up. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. That's talking about Israel. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Say if Yahweh. That's talking about Jacob. In other words, he's going to destroy the Israelites, but he's not going to he's not going to completely do away with the Israelites. So, what prophecy does this apply to? Who, who does this apply to now? The Edomites. They're the sinful kingdom because they say that they're a God fearing society, but they're not. They pass laws. They pass laws. Therefore, the law is slacked. It was slacked with us. That's why the Mosai put us in this condition. And judgment do it never go forth. For the wicked, now we know who he's talking about, do have compass about the righteous, where the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceedeth. So we know that this is talking about Esau. You can't get a, a, you know, change your plumbing. If you go to the military, I believe you can change your pl plumbing in the military. If you go to the prison, a prison system, you can say, I want to be a, uh, you, you're a man, you're going as a man, you want to be a woman. They will, the state will pay for your, to change your plumbing. Man laying with man is, is rampant throughout this country and around the world because the world follows this place. Woman on woman. They, they pass laws to protect people like that. But you can't see that this is, that America's, oh, America's not in the Bible, no. As, as any Christian, is America mentioned in the Bible, spoken about in the Bible? They're going to say no. They're going to, unless, unless it's a so-called Bible-believing, Bible-thumping, uh, Bible-belt 
hell, fire, and damnation preacher that know that the uh, the you know the uh, the MOTB is the kragma. It says to be unclean, become unclean, become impure, to be or become unclean sexually. I, I just gave you some examples. Religiously, oh, you can have Mo's in the church and be pastors in the church. Ceremonially, to defile oneself, be defiled sexually by adultery. You got a, a, a TV show called American, American Idol. And they idolize these actors, they, which are lesser luminaries. Celebrities, celebrity means ceiling or stars. They call them stars because you worship them ceremonially to be regarded as unclean. This place is unclean. Unclean, defiled, polluted, uncleanness, utterly. Okay, where am I? Okay, so I right, if you go back to Genesis, where am I? Let me go back to Genesis. In case you forgot. In the same day, Yahweh made a covenant, an agreement with Abraham, saying, Unto thy seed have I given this land from the river of, of Euph Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates. So I got two maps here. This is the promise, the covenant that the Lord made with Abraham and his seed. Isaac, Jacob, Israel. Abraham came from out of here. Babylon was right up the road. So he didn't know about Babylon. He was, he was right on earth. He was right off the coast, right above the Persian Gulf and right on the, the uh, Euphrates. And he, tra he traveled from the Euphrates that looks like about um, 800 miles, maybe. Yeah, about 800 miles. You got the you got the graph right here. 600 kilometers. I'm sorry, 400 miles. Double that is about 800 miles. That's a long trek back in those days. He went from Ur to Har Haran, from Haran down into the Promised Land into the land of Canaan, into Egypt. Back into Canaan. So we knew about Babylon. <laughs> we knew about the Euphrates River. This is known as the Fertile Crescent. We knew about the Red Sea, the Nile River, Jerusalem, Damascus. Haran. Let me try something. Let me do something. Ur is mentioned in the scriptures five times in five verses. Genesis 11, I'll read all five verses. I'll read, uh, let's see. And Haran died before his father, which was one of the brothers of Abra Abraham, the son of, of uh, Terah, and the land of his nativity in Ur of the Chaldees. So they came from Ur of the Chaldees. They were right off the coast. Let me go back to it. That's Ur of the Chaldees. They were right on the 
on the coastline of the Euphrates River. But we didn't know about, about uh, Babylon. Nehemiah 9, verse 7, Thou art Yahweh, the Most High, who didst choose Abram and, and brought his, him from out of Ur, which is right off the, the river, the river uh, Euphrates, of the Chaldees, and gave of him the name of Abraham. Well, let's come back again. Ur, from Ur to Babylon, we're talking what, 200 miles, 180 miles. So when he made that trek from Ur to Haran, he went, he passed through. He was, he was going this court. That's why this is called the Fertile Crescent. He went past Babylon, so he knew about Babylon. So when the Most High blessed them and gave them the covenant that from the river Euphrates to the great river, the river uh, from the river, the, the, ri the Egyptian river, the river now, to the great river, the river U Euphrates. So we didn't know that? We didn't know that? You need to put this in your precept book, IUIC. X seven. <clears throat> Bear me for a minute. All right, Abraham. Okay, this is the second verse. And he said, Men, brethren, and fathers, hearken, the most high of glory appeared unto our father Abram, Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia. Another word for Ur the Chaldees. Give me a second. Let me bring that up again. Also known as Mesopotamia. When he was in Mesopotamia before he dwelt in Haran. Now, it says, it says, Haran, right? That's Haran. Spelled a little different. You should read the whole chapter. A verse, and he gave him the covenant of circumcision, and so Abraham begat Isaac and circumcised him the eighth day, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat the twelve patriarchs. That's what the line went through. Okay, that's all I want. That's all I need. So now let's come back over here to, and I'll close it. Deuteronomy 28, 36. Yahweh shall bring thee and thy king. Who's the king? Which, not Christ. Christ! Which thou shall set over thee. Jehoiakim didn't, was not set up. He, he, just, he just took the place of his father. Uh, he came out of the line of David. David was set up unto a nation which thou nor thy fathers have known. So scholars will tell you, as I said in, in the video I did last night, it's talking about the ba Babylonian captivity. But it says, unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers, 
Is not Abraham one of our fathers? Is not Isaac one of our fathers? Is not Jacob one of our fathers? So we knew, we, we traded. You had Israelites that went to Babylon and went to various places. Oh, let me, let me prove that. It says, it says, unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, and there shalt thou serve other gods with wooden stone. This is, this is not talking about Babylon. This is not talking about Jehoiakim. This is talking about King David. He's the number one king. That's why it said you and your king. We have many kings. And who was considered the king during the time of the writing of Deuteronomy? Deuteronomy chapter 33. Moses was a king in Jeshurun. Deuteronomy 33, I think is the fifth verse. And he received the laws. And he came back as King David. That's why King David is going to sit on the first physical throne on the earth. This is not hard. And this goes over the heads of the Christians. That's why the, the elder Mike asked the question. Because now it's a spiritual thing. And not every answer is in the Bible. As I said last night, when, when our Lord asked Peter, who do they say I am? Or who do you say I am? He said, you're the Messiah. And he said, flesh and blood have not revealed it unto you, but, but the Heavenly Father. There's some things that Most High is going to give you. I know for a fact in the spirit that Abba Bivens is the fulfillment of Elijah coming back. If you don't understand the concept of reincarnation, you can't understand the Bible. So this is definitely talking about America and all Israelites out there should be on the same page. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.